Hi there, welcome to number one geek. Yes, I know. I missed a day. Uh, lots on, lots of stuff to do. Uh, so yeah, I do apologise about missing a day, but that's the way things go, I'm afraid. Right, so what's going on today? Apart from the fact it's absolutely pouring down rain, can't see a thing. Um, I need to look for concrete powder. Don't know if I'm going to find it here, and I'm pretty sure I didn't see it over at the um, over at the the place of where I've been hiding stuff. All right, let me have a quick look at this Uzi pistol. I'm German Uzi pistol. Okay. So, I am going to go have a quick look. As you can see, things are a little bit dark out here. So what I might end up having to do is uh, have a quick check of... That's in bloom. The seedling young corn. I suspect these would be seedlings. Yep. Young radishes. Yeah, unfortunately, I didn't get to the potatoes in time. I'll deal with that a bit later, I think. So, I don't have much to do, really. Obviously, because of the way that the game's been uh, done. Even though... The good thing is, is that um, they have uh, been putting provisions for um, attaching uh, light sources to your belt. So there's going to be anything for head torches and stuff. So hopefully that will mean that uh, you may need a torch, but it's not going to be as crippling as it is at the moment got in here. There's some other things, some other improvements that uh, are going to come through, but uh, most of them have been like bug fixes and stuff that uh, has popped up every now and again. There's problems. So I'm, I, I need to have a think uh, about, because I'm kind of stuck here and I'm resisting the idea that I'm going to have to go to Mordraw but the more I resist the more I realise that that's just a I'm, I'm just going to have to do it it's just going to have to be done at some point but what I'll do is I'm going to try and see if the rain nope still absolutely pitch black out here so I'm going to pop here, we're going to do some, I'm going to take the time, or well, I'm going to take the time to look through uh, the Hydrocraft stuff, see if there's something I can do useful. Uh, as I say, I'm looking for concrete powder because I'm looking to make the smelter now, see where we can go from there. suppose I could make some uh, ingot moulds, well, that's probably one thing I could do. Um, actually, let's do it now. Why not? Instead of me sitting around doing nothing. So let's make uh, an ingot malt. Like a leaf spring malt. Mold. Arrowhead mold. Wing mold. Mould. Oh, nail mould. Nice. 
I actually make my own nails as well. I might make, be life, make life a little bit nicer. in there for the moment. Stop myself and get overweighted. Gear mold. Bung mold. Oh, it's like a giant magnet mold. That's cool. Like an anvil mold. Giant magnet mold. Anvil mold, nice. Bullet casing mold. Bullet tip mold. Shot mold. Block mold. Pipe mold. Two anvil moles, so well. Never mind. I made a pipe mole, didn't I? It's just a bar mole. So I suspect the next thing I'm going to have to do I should probably build their own boxes for this. Heavy these molds. Not that heavy. At least I feel like I'm doing something. You know, this is this is all prep for for getting ingots and stuff sorted. ready. I don't know if the moulds get used, because I've never done uh, smelting before. 
so even when even back in the uh, build 40 days it's that far I'm going to have to wait till the rain finishes because it's getting late anyway. I'll close that door as well. And I'll carry on having some checks and see if there's anything else that I can do uh, hydrocraft wise. But uh, apart from that, there's not a lot I can do really. So I will be back shortly. Okay, well, I did a little bit of fluffing around, did a bit of mining, grabbed a, bit, grabbed a few th bits, and now it looks like it's getting a bit cold now where did I put my police jacket I'll wear that it seems it's minus one right so we are going to see about clearing out the area and getting my show shooting up. Now, as some of you may remember, if you've uh, been following, I ended up taking the shotgun out to, uh, you know, kill a few zombies, practice with the with the gun, and also to um, draw out zombies from. The buildings and from further away so that I can deal with them in an environment that's easier for me to uh, deal with open so to speak so uh, I suspect there's going to be a few zombies down here Further into town, because I think that's where I, where I was shooting the gun, a bit further down. So this top half, I think, is fairly clear, which is good. Even though I did have a couple, you know, I, I did find one banging on the, banging on the walls. It was quickly dispatched, so it wasn't a, a terrible, terrible thing. Now I should start seeing groups of zombies. Very soon they tend to. Uh, here we go. They seem to like the uh, the Geiger mark for some strange reason. And now it started raining again. Fourteen shots. Let's see how close I can get. Nice. Ten shots left. This ain't good. I think I may have attracted the lead zombie. Nice. 
That's good. And took a few more shots than I'd hoped. Right, so I need to grab one of my magazines. So that I've got a change. I know I've got two shots left. So that I don't end up accidentally picking that up. That took a lot. way too many to be honest Let's get back to brass tack, shall we? Oh, it was jammed. Okay. Change the magazine over then. Oh, there's a big group in here. I do like this place. That took way too many bullets. Two shots left. That'll do. That's nice. That's also very nice. That's 
Brilliant. How many shots have I got left? 24. You know what? This place is actually a lot more populated than I thought it was going to be. I know I'd attracted a few zombies here, left, left and centre. That was too many. Really? Okay. Well, I'm going to have to get up class in person. Ah! So see if there's anything you got. Yeah, my real love. Oh, time for a sneaky, sneaky pop. Sneaky, 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 sneaky,
I didn't actually check to see if there were actually any... Did I check the weapons? Yeah, I did check for weapons. Might have made another disastrous trip out to the uh, prison complex. That'll be fun. But the other thing was, is that I did want to try maybe grab the police car. Yes. Okay. I'll be back in a second, guys. Just going to get some stuff together. And uh, I'll be back once I'm down by the police station. Okay, so we're back here by the police station. I want to make sure that I've got it cleaned out. Reason for that being that I probably will use this as a forward base until I can actually get myself somewhere safe. I think we're actually clear in here. I can't hear, hear any zombies. So what I will do is I will shut that door there. Have another quick check of the... Um, Just in case. That's oh, 4 4 Magnum. No, nothing going on there then. Right. Okay, so I'm probably. Well, my plan is this. I'm going to walk my way up to the um, prison. I have two um, canisters of fuel. In my trolley. So my my primary target is getting the police car. But my secondary target is effectively clearing the road of zombies on the way up. And tertiary target is any more ammunition for the Uzi. I'm not going sneaky sneaky here. I do want to draw them now. Here we go for a sneaky, sneaky pop. Not a brilliant sneaky, sneaky pop, but a sneaky, sneaky pop all the same. zombies I can take out on this end. The 
the better. Of course, I don't know how many zombies are going to be outside the uh, complex now. So it might be a little bit of a fool's errand coming up here. Plus, it's more than likely I'm going to get tired at some point. It is getting to... Five o'clock or so. But I don't see clearing the place as obvious as a fool's errand. I can't remember how well I may have cleared out the uh... Well, which character it was that did it. Searching for something when I went up to the uh, just hoping that my maintenance will go up as well. This is like a double sneaky sneaky pop. Take like the police officer on his own. Also starting to see that with things like fiddlehead fern and stuff like that, there's no minus to uh, like happiness and stuff. So it might be if I actually want to continue being a happy eater, maybe foraging is the way to go.
Okay, this is going to be a bit of a fight, but there you go. Just might take this last group here on. Then head back. That's two groups. Well, there is quite a few zombies down here, so at least I'm keeping myself busy. Right, I'll uh, head back, check times and stuff, and we'll see where we go from there. Back in a sec. Okay, I think uh, looking at the time, we're probably best leaving it there. Uh, so, where we're leaving it is that we're still heading up towards the prison to try and get the police vehicle. Having said that, though. Check to see if there's a police vehicle around here. There is. But I think I could get into the other police vehicle, couldn't I? And not this one. Yeah. Okay. So we're still going to head up. Uh, but we'll uh, we'll get that to that uh, later. So I just want to say, if you like what you like, press the like button. If you dislike what you dislike, press the dislike button. If you really like it, want to press the subscribe button. If you super duper like it, want to press the bell icon so you get updated every time I upload new content to YouTube. Um, as you may or may not know, uh, I'm expecting a child anytime soon. So expect disruptions to the content. Um, if I'm away for a week, you'll probably know why. I do do twitching, but obviously with things going on at the moment, I'm probably not terribly doing that. I think the only thing I'll probably end up doing if the baby hasn't come by then is the D&D &D on the Saturday, uh, 10 p.m. UK time. All remains for me to say, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.